good afternoon, good morning, good evening, or whatever time zone it is, whether you in the world, it is your law and saviour. And we are going to be putting on our tinfoil hats and getting our entire Nosferatu Usi out as we discuss cut content. Stuff that you and I are not supposed to be able to see, but we're seeing it anyway, and so has everybody else who purchased a copy of the Crimson Gutter PDF. But before we get too in-depth with all of this, I think some context is needed. Last night, on the 13th of April, 2024, in the year of our Lord Talos, a friend of mine offered me a copy of The Crimson Gutter, which is the latest Vampire the Masquerade 5th edition book at the time of recording. And of course, I am going to be very happily receiving any donations for the Lord by Night brand, as it were. And I haven't had a proper look at the book yet. From what I've seen, the artwork is pretty cool. And um, there's some other grievances that I have, but this is not what this is about. This is talking about one specific bit of detail, because you may be aware that the Crimson Gutter book is actually putting more of a spotlight on the Church of Cain cult. And if anybody has no idea what that is, or don't remember reading Cult of the Blood Gods where it was properly introduced, the Church of Cain, for a very short bastardization, is a reimagining, modernization, and a continuation of the Canite heresy introduced in the Vampire the Dark Ages line, where, for a general principle, it assumes the idea that Cain is Jesus Christ, or Jesus Christ is Cain, it, potato potato, really. As I said, very short summary, but I do intend to be covering the Canite heresy and the Church of Cain, especially with the updates that 5th edition have done. Because we have touched upon some of the cults before, I'm actually going to leave a couple of them up there in card form. I nearly got myself with that one. The Church of Cain have been, as I said, like, bring into the spotlight a bit more with the Crimson Gutter, as, it, as its main purpose as a book is a bunch of short stories, like one-shot sort of things, where you are either the Anarchs, the Camarilla, or the Church of Cain. And when this was announced and teased with the Renegade and World of Darkness social media pages, I was a little wary of this because it seemed like to me that the Church of Cain was going to be World of Darkness and Renegade's response to making the Sabbat playable in Vampire the Masquerade 5th edition. Because there are some similarities between the two of them, but there are also quite a lot of fucking differences. And I tweeted about this at the time, and whilst there are some people who shared my criticisms, um, there was actually quite a lot of people who were annoyed with me and gave me quite a bit of flack before it. Well, I'm putting on the tinfoil hat now, and I have the evidence to suggest, highly suggest, that this is actually what Renegade slash World of Darkness were doing. And uh, allow me to demonstrate this to you really quickly. So if we come over to the PDF, this is my copy of the PDF here, and it's specifically this page that I want you to have a look at. Now, as you can see, we've got the Camarilla, the Anarch, and the Church of Cain logos. And um, it, this is an alright logo. I mean, it's very Vampire the Requiem-esque, and that's not meant as a slur or slander. It's just, by limited understanding of Requiem, there these logos and things that they've done are very more ornate than what we have with Vampire. That's just my opinion of it. It is very cult-like, I guess, but I think it's a bit much of a Vampire the Masquerade logo. To talk about the logo a bit more, if we have a look at the logo, we've got this whole sword unk thing. If you have a look to the Camarilla, which is like right adjacent to it, you can see that they share like a similar profile, as it were. And, you know, Church of Cain, Sword of Cain, you know, it's, it, it's the, the imagery is quite common, I guess. When I am creating thumbnails for YouTube, this is connected, I do scour the books for artwork and things, and if I want to grab hold of a specific logo or something, I come to the books or the official artworks, packs that you can get on the Storyteller's Vault. And so, for example, I like this sort of, I don't know how well this is appearing on the screens here, but the background for this book, as well as, like, the white, you've got, like, this, like, orangey cityscape thing, and if I click on that, you can see that's all highlighted now. And this highlighted passage here is this sort of ready colory theme, which I think will work well for some thumbnails in the future. Now, if I try to click on the uh, ank, uh, that's not doing anything. If I try and do it with the the Anarch one, you can hear me click, click, click away. Uh, it, I can't do anything with it. But with the Church of Cain one, I can select this. But very interestingly, you've got this big old box outside of it, 
And to me, this implies it's actually quite a lot more than meets the eye. And I was curious because I wanted this logo to use for the Church of Cain and the Cainite Heresy stuff. And I don't know how long it's going to take World of Darkness to, like, put it out there in an official sense for people to use. And I'm quite a needy bastard. So... Let me show you what happens when we copy and paste that over. So very simple stuff, really. I'm not doing anything clever or like data mining or like hacking the system, as it were. Like if you have a copy of the Crimson Gutter PDF, you can do this as well. So just going to go to the PDF here, just unselecting that, you know, again, we get the background again. Uh, I'm going to click on the Church of Cain uh, logo here and I'm going to do control C or command C or right click copy image left click you know control C you've now heard me that I've now copied the image and trust me when I say that that's exactly what I've done here now if we transition over to this empty Google Doc that I have prepared for you there's nothing here this is a blank Google Doc coming over to the Google Doc and I'm going to hit control V to paste the image and look at that. We have not one, but three logos in total. So two additional logos, which is absolutely mind-blowing to me. Like this hidden and cut content in Vampire the Masquerade. And I'm not going to lie or exaggerate us when I say this is the most excited I've been for Vampire the Masquerade in a very very long time and it's to do with a, the, the church of Cain and this cut content I don't know if this has happened before really and if anybody has like have any awareness of it do let me know in the comments below I would imagine if anybody would know it would be Ian the goat Watson so give me a message or in the comments below but let's have a look at these other logos we're going to start at the one at the top right corner as that's the one that immediately grabbed my attention because if you have a look at these scythes here these scythes are actually Bahari symbols, uh, you know, worshippers of Lilith, the Bahari. Now, on their own, these two scythes mean Cain, and I guess the symbolism there is that Cain and Abel were farmers. And if there was a blood drop at the end of these points here, that would mean kindred. But you've got these blood bits elsewhere, which I think is more an aesthetic thing rather than any some deep symbolism. And this heart here... A heart very similar to this is used in the V5 Sabat book to symbolise the path of Cain. Yes, I had to dig that piece of shit out to um, analyse this piece of information. So it's quite interesting that you have this amalgamation of like Bihari and Cain stuff here. So I imagine that this wasn't going to be used anyway. Obviously, we've got our logo and then the rest of the box that formed around it, if you remember when I showed you like clicking on the PDF. And then you have this one and this logo here is by far the most involved one but it's also the most telling because you can clearly see that this symbol here is the sword of Cain the Sabbat the Sabbat logo and you've got a skull and you've got another sword there so whoever gave the instruction on like okay design this logo to symbolize this cult and the graphic designer and slash or what they were doing I have no doubt in my mind that the Church of Cain as going forward with Renegade, are intended to be Sabat substitutes, or at least that's what's heavily implied here. Now, why are these logos in the book? Honestly, I have no idea, because you would have thought that the graphic designer, or whoever it was that designed this, like, designed these three logos here, and Renegade and Slash or World of Darkness saw this one and thought, okay, this one's great, we'll use that one. And you would have thought that they would have either cropped all this rubbish out, or they would have asked the graphic designer or whoever to say, okay, we like this one here, can you just send us a file with that one, please? And then just just send that one off, and then we wouldn't have known about any of this. But the fact that Renegade have allowed this to happen and World of Darkness to allow this to happen is quite frankly incredibly sloppy. And on the one hand, I'm exceptionally pleased that you have all been this sloppy so we can have a look at this cut content here before I guess it's patched out for lack of a better phrase. But at the same time, this is incredibly unprofessional and I can't wait to see how or what is done about this because I know that the moment I put this out onto YouTube, people are going to be made aware of this they're going to be trying to find out and like explore things themselves and who knows renegade may like update the pdf and it will remove all of this entirely or it could well be that these symbols are actually for something else maybe in the future we're going to get some more other cults and factions maybe 
this symbol here is a new symbol for the Bahari that uh, World of Darkness have got going on. Or maybe this is some sort of Sabat thing they're going to throw in there. Or maybe this one came before the reimagining of the Sabat and V5. Of course, there's no way of, like, truly telling. If anybody somehow would know why these all exist and are willing to have a little chat with me about it, you can send me an email or send me a message about it, and I would just love to have that insider knowledge. And providing it doesn't break any NDAs, of course, that I'm allowed to talk about it via said NDA or the lack of thereof, I think it'll be really cool for the community, or for those who give a fuck, uh, to have a better understanding about the origins of these logos and why they're actually here. Because they, they're not in the book. Like, you can't find them in a more visible place in the book. It's only with that specific instance, by clicking on the Church of Cain logo, do you get all of this blown up like this. And as I said, this is the most excited I've been for Vampire for a very, very long time, and it's with a content that we're not supposed to see. And if it wasn't for that friend of mine who sent me that thing last night, I would probably never know about this. So thank you very much, friend, for sending me that last night. And thank you very much, Renegade, for your uh, beautiful sloppiness. <laughs> But in any case, I'd actually want to hear what you lot think about these new logos. Do you like them? Do you think one of them should have been used over the other? Do you think they're going to be used in any other sense? I also want to know about what you think about the Church of Cain and the Cainite Heresy. Have you explored these themes in your games? If so, I would love to hear about the characters that you have, because this has honestly made me a bit more excited about it. And I also want to hear about storytellers who have used the Church of Cain in their games. Also, have you read The Crimson Gutter yet? What are your thoughts? To give me the good, bad, and everything else in between. Again, let's start a nice, healthy conversation. Let's not just go shitting on, oh, I don't like V5, because you could easily use this source book, potentially, and the Cult of Cain material, like in your older editions of Vampire, and, you know, with a bit of um, stretching of the imagination, as it were, you could use it in Dark Ages settings. Yeah, I, I just want to hear all your thoughts and opinions about it. And uh, as you do that, like subscribe, check out the various links in the description below where you'll find the various Law by Night social media pages. You can find me on Blue Sky, Instagram, and join the Law by Night Discord server, which I think is one of the best places in the world of darkness. But then again, I'm a little bit biased, so uh, take that with a pinch of salt. And you can also find various Vampire the Masquerade books, including The Knight Heresy. And if you purchase it with those links, I get some of the money back because I'm an affiliate on Drive-Thru RPG. And what that means is that I'm able to provide more lore dives and additional content like this just to you know, entertain and educate and make people aware of all the ins and outs that's happening with the world of darkness, both the good, the bad, the ugly, and the downright dank and controversial, as always. Until next time. Farewell.